Hi, this is Chaitanya Malladi from UNHI Secure Private Limited. As part of this presentation, we will be understanding Oracle's e-business suite and how Identity Now integrates with Oracle EBS. We will start by understanding an overview of Oracle's EBS and how access is managed within EBS using roles and responsibilities. We will then take a look at Identity Now's connected for EBS and what the corresponding prerequisites are. With complex processes and huge amount of digital data, managing the key processes of an organization is a challenge. Enterprise resource planning solutions like Oracle EBS help in the management of these processes by providing a comprehensive suite of business applications. For instance, a HRMS based application helps a company manage the recruit to retire process. The application gives users a real-time view of all HR activities. A financials module would help the organization maintain general ledgers, cash management, tables, etc. A logistics or a supply chains management solution would help the users plan, manage and control the flow of product and services. A customer relationship management application would provide the front office functions to increase customer satisfaction and loyalty. In addition to these modules, EBS provides a whole array of applications to help with all sorts of processes within an organization. With a vast application like EBS, it becomes important to maintain the right access for the right people, especially for compliance as well as user comfort. The permissions in EBS are controlled by responsibilities which are further modularized into functions, menus, etc. These responsibilities can be assigned to the user either via a role or a direct assignment. Based on the assignment, the user's access can be modified. These accesses can be managed in an easier fashion using an identity management solution like Identity Now, which is a cloud-based identity management solution. Once Identity Now is integrated with Oracle EPS, it enables us to load and provision accounts, responsibilities and roles, perform access reviews, and handle password management. To communicate with Oracle EPS, Identity Now uses some of the APIs which allow it to perform user and group management activities. The FND user package allows Identity Now to create and update users including addition or removal of responsibilities from a user's profile. The FND responsibility package allows the creation and updation of responsibilities. The workflow local sync package contains APIs which allow Identity Now to perform synchronization of the user and role information to the application tables. The FND WebSec API has functionalities that allow for changing of password and login validations. The FND Global Package is a server-side package which provides the system global variables like the login and sign-on session. For Identity Now to integrate with Oracle EBS, there are a few pre prerequisites that need to be ensured. Identity Now supports Oracle eBusiness Suite versions from 12.2.1. 
as part of the network requirements it needs to be ensured that the EBS application is accessible from the virtual appliance machines. For the service account, the right permissions need to be provided. The session creation permission would be required for any operation to be performed. Reading account and group information is required to perform account and group aggregations into identity now. In order to perform any right activities like creation or updations, the permissions associated with provisioning accounts need to be put in place for the service account. In addition, if the communication needs to be performed over secure network protocols, the transport layer security also needs to be set up with the virtual appliance. Once the prerequisites are in place, the e-business suite source can be configured on identity now. As part of the source definition, we will need to set up the connection parameters, the account schemas which contain the attributes that will be run from EBS and create profile that will allow for provisioning of accounts. In addition to the source definition, we would want to also model access on EBS. This can be done using access profiles and correspondingly setting up identity now roles. Let us now take a look at a basic access model that can be set up on identity now for EBS. As part of the entitlement aggregation, all the responsibilities present on EBS are pulled into identity now. These responsibilities can be grouped into access profiles based on the related responsibilities which correspond to the same job function. One or more access profiles can be grouped into an identity now rule which would be defined based upon the different types of users that are present on the EBS system. These rules can now be assigned to the users to control the access that the user has in the EBS application. This sort of an access model allows for role-based access control. That brings us to the end of this presentation. Please follow us on our social media for more technical content.